country. How many times are we going to have to do this? That's really how you're going to spend your whole sixth grade year? With you down in my office every single week for some new childish prank? Childish. Is that how you want to begin this interrogation? <laughs> I'd say clogging every toilet in the men's room with pounds of ground, ground beef and onions is pretty childish, Jeffrey. Perhaps, Principal Chamberlain, that is because you are seeing it through your own childish eyes. <laughs> Try to see it through my eyes. I'm writing a symphony. <laughs> A symphony of pranks. A symphony of chaos. <laughs> Each prank another note in the melody. Lock well, on your mom. You can explain your symphony to her. No, Michael, you're not. What? What did you just call me? You heard. <laughs> but how do you know my first name? You're a kid. I know many things. <laughs> Maybe I just read it on your desk plate. I know very many things. Like what? I know numbers as well as names. 6647 West Hillsdale Boulevard. I also know your favorite dessert, Michael. Principal Chamberlain's you and... Wait, that's my address. And Jeffrey, are you the one who's been leaving flaming bananas fosters on my doorstep? <laughs> An ordinary prankster would have left a flaming bag of shit. Flaming! Sorry. <laughs> but I am not ordinary. No, I'm not. I left the sweet treat that you most enjoy. Why? Because I make you stomp out the flames and in doing so destroy that which you most desire. <laughs> I want you to try. Try to hear the music of chaos. The ding dong of your doorbell is the first one of my symphony. I'm calling your mom right now. No. You're not. I'm not? No. Because we both know how many enemies a principal has. Sit down, you look weak. <laughs> Last year, you punished some second graders for playing tackle football at recess. Do you remember? Uh, no, of course they not. They do. <laughs> Their young minds did not forget. And now those boys are on a field trip to the nature center with your son, are they not? Oh my god. Right now, as we speak, your son's backpack is sitting unguarded on the bus while those boys so eager for their revenge wait what are they going to do if they don't hear from me within the next hour they're going to dump raw ground beef into your son's backpack huh do you have any idea how disgusting a warm backpack filled with ground beef gets? I do. Last year when Kelvin Cavanaugh dumped ground beef in my backpack and I told you you did nothing. You told me I couldn't prove it was him. You told me it was all hearsay. Well, do you hear that? Are you Listen harder, Principal. Another stanza of my symphony. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, hey, everyone. Vice Principal Shandy here. Just want to clear up all the commotion that's unfolded in the past few minutes. Uh, it seems someone released a few chickens in the school. Also, whoever did so wrote names on all of the chickens. <laughs> uh, so far, we've caught a Bailey, a Geronimo, and a Tucker. Uh, please let us know if you have any idea what's going on or what this means. Thank you very much, and God bless, Vice Principal Chair. <laughs> You're a monster! What's the matter, Principal? 
Don't like hearing the names of all your childhood pets? <laughs> <laughs> well, all of them except Charlie. What? Why would you bring my goldfish into this? <laughs> to teach you a lesson about forgetfulness. Five weeks, four days, and three hours ago, I was sent to your office because I had forgotten my homework. You couldn't understand how I could... Just lose homework! <laughs> but you lost a goldfish, didn't you? <laughs> I was nine! I left the room! I had no idea what happened! When I came back, he was gone! How could you lose a goldfish? It's just <laughs> sitting in a tank of water. <laughs> I don't know! I just lost track of him! Well, here's a thought I hope you won't lose track of Principal Chamberlain. Is there still a chicken named Charlie running around the school, or did it vanish to wherever your Charlie went? <laughs> I awake tonight and think of that, Principal. I awake tonight and wonder, where did your Charlies go? <laughs> That's it! I'm calling your mother! No, please. Please don't. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Mrs. Jasper? I have your son down in my office. He left flaming desserts on my doorstep and threatened my ch child with ground beef and, and he brought on my pet goldfish. Ah, uh, let me guess. He's just been monologizing about his symphony? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> he did that at his last school. I'll come pick him up. Oh, thank God. Will you put my son on the phone? Yes. Yes, here. Hello, Mother. <laughs> Reach into your pocket, young man. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> the back pocket. <laughs> Read to me, Jeffrey. Read to me what the note in your pants say. Says I'm grounded. <laughs> 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 